Greetings everyone, welcome to another Core Set 2021 opening. Today we're gonna do a full standard box for you guys. Um, just a quick update, a lot of you were asking my previous uh, collector's video about the foils in this set. So I've got a stack of foils here for you guys. These have been out, um, you know, on my table for, you know, two over two days now. Um, exposed to the elements, to the air, you know, got windows open, stuff coming in, you know, not in a binder, they're not in a case, um, they are not, you know, in a, in, a, in a deck box or anything, just sitting out on the table. That, to me, looks very promising. No Pringles, as you can see. Um, no, you know, crazy wavy foiling, you know, can't stack these up and stand them, um, like some of the other recent foils. So that to me is very promising. I hope it stays that way. Definitely, you know, been out for a few days, uh, in exposed to the elements. So that is promising. That is promising. And hopefully that's what we see with all the various printings, uh, of the core sets. And hopefully this will be the way for, um, you know, future sets. Uh, hope we're back at just keeping everything nice and no more Pringles, um, for sure. All right, let's get these out. So, yeah, very, very happy with this set so far. Um, overall, very good artwork for a core set. Feels very... Uh, for lack of a better word, magic-y. <laughs> um, so definitely got the, the magic feels to it. Obviously excited about some of the reprints we're getting here and, you know, seeing seeing Grim Tutor again. And, um, yeah, it's just been, overall, I think, a very, very good experience. Let's get cracking. My goodness. I don't know what it is with the glue on these for me, but there we go. Alrighty, we're just gonna slow roll one little pack through the commons, and then the rest we're just gonna... Oh, that's pretty cool. Cancel. Lots of dogs. Crypt, bad deal. Ooh, blood again on cards. Okay. Brontodon and Necromentia. Very, very cool artwork there. And a jungle hollow. All right. I hope everyone's excited uh, to be getting their boxes soon. Um, definitely you know, looking forward to seeing how the prices fluctuate. I think this will be a very interesting set. Um, especially with the, you know, the collector's course boxes this, this time around, um, you know, perhaps Thieves Guild Enforcer, very cool artwork. All right. And we've got a foil Liliana Steward with the alternate purple frame. Very cool view there. Um, yeah, very curious to see how the collector's boxes behave. Um, obviously, Ikoria is coming off of a very strong collector's box. Now that we've got, you know, some of the spicy pulls here in the standard boxes, you know, I wonder what that will do to, to the core set. Um, maybe it won't be as popular volcanic salvo, okay. And Concordia Pegasus for another foil. So we shall see. Um, but I think it's a really cool move um, from Wizards to start putting in, you know, more spice into the standard boxes. I think that's a very good move um, overall to make sure that, um, you know, it's not only in the high dollar collector boxes, but um, that, you know, we're getting these chances to pull alternate frames and, and you know extended border cards etc oh <laughs> nice that's what i'm talking about that's what i'm talking about lily 
Beautiful purple framing. Oh, wow, man. Whew. Okay. And another, wow. We're three for three on foils. First Mythic, fantastic hit. Always love seeing Lily. Very, she's looking very um, calm and peaceful in there, though. In that one, from uh, the usual Lily artwork that we see. Uprising, and a Temple of Epiphany, okay. Oh, and a foil rare. We've got Gadrak the Crown Scourge. Very cool. Um, first foil rare, hopefully we get a second one. But yeah, very cool. Always happy with a foil rare. Um, outside of other exciting news, we've got Arena coming to Mac, or on Mac now. Ooh, Sanctum of Tranquil Light. Um, these legendary enchantments are back. Very cool to see those. See the truth. All right, and a forest. Um, yeah, so very excited for Arena on Mac. I've been wanting to play, and as a Mac owner, um, you know, definitely... Definitely something I've been waiting on. I wonder, you know, when the move to mobile comes, that will be very interesting to see how it can compete with the Hearthstone market. Cultivate. We've got you in your different artwork last time. Conclave Mentor. Idol of Endurance. Okay, very cool. Ooh, and this pretty forest. You know what? I'm going to stack these by themselves just so we can... Move the tokens here just so we can track how many of these alternate art forests. I'm um, very excited about them actually. Overall, I think Theros had a fantastic, you know, with the Pokemon style lands, energy lands. I think they were very cool. Um, and that was a good, you know, interesting move, kind of, especially if you've been opening, you know, magic cards for years now. You've got a lot of lands, so I always like it. Kitty cats. Um, I always like it when they do something something different um, with with the lands, and that was a very good move uh, on Wizard's part. Uh, definitely this time around as well. I just love love the artwork. I love this card, Common Short Sword. I really want to get it in foil. I think the artwork would look very cool foil. Light of Promise, Gormand. Ooh, okay. And Fungal Rebirth, Fabled Passage. Hello, if we've been seeing you quite often um, in recent times. Kind of heavy on the reprint there of Fabled Passage, but hey, it's a good land, I'll take it. Um, I do wish, you know, the only, I guess, uh, yeah, I won't call it a complaint, but maybe uh, if I, you know, were able to have a constructive change in Core 21, I would do something, another Necromancia, and a foil lore scale codal. Okay. Um, I would, I would change up the land cycle. I'm just, I mean, I don't know. The, the temples, they don't really do it to me. I wasn't very excited for them in Theros. I wasn't, you know, very excited to, to see them back in core. So, you know, obviously, I would love to see a different land cycle. I love the Triomes from Ikoria. Very happy to see those. Ooh, okay. Land number two. Where did, oh, did I miss? Where did I put the other one? Hold on. What did I do with the other guy? There we go. Started putting my tokens on him out of habit. Yep, so I would have, you know, only change... I would have liked to see a different rare land cycle. But other than that, you know, I think this is a very, very solid set. Um, you know, it's a corset. I've always felt corsets need to have a lot of good staples. You know, the, I've treated them as a supplemental set to kind of, you know, bolster up the current decks um, that come from, you know, the mainline release, very cool border, love that. And a foil opt. 
So yeah, I think this set is definitely, you know, very, very core, very good, good, good reprints, good planeswalkers, new planeswalkers as well. Um, lots of tribal options, you know, for your cat and dog lovers, that's very cool. Um, I'm sure there's going to be some crazy fun decks coming out of those. Shacklegeist, very cool. I love the artwork there. Um, but yeah, crazy month though for, for Magic. This, this Magic Summer, I mean, we've got Core 21. Um, you know, Ikoria is still fairly fresh. And ooh, another legendary enchantment, Sanctum of Shattered Heights. This cast and ruined halo and another. Oh my god! I'm doing it again. There we go. All right. Yep. So one mythic so far. A little bit quiet on the mythics. Um, yeah, it is a good mythic though, so I'll take that. But maybe you know, if I complain a little bit. Thanks for screaming, neighbors, children. Uh, perfect timing. If I, you know, ah. <laughs> what is, I don't know. I, I think I just should complain about before every pack. Ah, oh, it's a fairy. Master of time. A f fantastic art direction on the whole Teferi design. I think they've done a wonderful job with, you know, all the different versions and printings in this set that you can get very cool very excited you go join your friend lily there Alrighty. wow okay that is definitely very cool um if you do not see my collector's opening go check it out um the last pack was insane um so yeah not gonna spoil what it was but uh, you definitely, definitely like it. Glorious Anthem. Lots of angels there. Alrighty. Yeah, wow. Um, so where was I? Back back to talking about this, this month for Magic. It's... I thought that was foil. The sun shined on it for a, a moment when I was pulling it out and it looked, looked uh, foily and I was like, what? Um, yeah, very busy month for Magic. I mean, we've got, you know, Core, we've got Jump Starts, uh, you know, Double Masters is just right down the road. Poor Web Weaver. And a Foil Faith's Fetters. Okay. Um, yeah, Jump Starts, you know. I'm really, really keen on, on seeing how Jump Start kind of impacts the uh, community. I think it's a very fun way to play Magic and just, you know, quickly set up a few fun games with your friends or um, with somebody that's just learning. Sanctum of Calm Waters. Wow, we're hitting all these legendary enchantments. And a Brash Taunter. Um, so I think, yeah, I'm curious to see, you know, if Jumpstart becomes a thing, if it's a uh, Maybe it's a once a year themed release from Wizards. Um, I don't. I don't think it should be pumped out more than that. But um, if they did one once a year, it wouldn't be too bad, I think. And you know, different different little decks you've put together. Love this purple bordering. Ah, Vito, Thorn of the Dusk Rose. Very cool. Good. Good. Rare. Hopefully, we'll see how that holds up. And an Igneous Cur. Fire Dog. Good foil percentage there. All right, let's keep cracking. Um, yeah, so jump starts. Again, I think I'll, I'll definitely play. I mean, it's definitely fun just to, you know, kind of get that randomized option, you know, mash two things together. Uh, should be fun to play. Ooh, Basri's Lieutenant. Okay. Cool, cool framing there. Very cool. Should be, should be interesting. Um, then, yeah, we're, you know, we wind down. We got Double Masters coming. Um, you know, then of course everyone will start talking about Zendikar. We've got 
what, the Commander Booster Project? Pro project. Product as well? I don't know, this, this needs flavor text. I just don't, don't leave it blank. Make it full art, give it flavor text. I don't know, I don't know. My two cents. Um, yeah, ooh, Teferi's Tutelage, beautiful blue border. Ooh, Terror of the Peaks. Terror of the Peaks. Everyone loves a badass dragon. Um, yeah. Very excited for Mythic number three. Wow, okay, these are these are very good hits. Um, the Mythics. Um, if we can get a Grim Tutor, maybe an Ugin, you know, slip in with that fourth Mythic, that would be fantastic. But um, definitely, uh oh. I see some shenanigans. I see some shenanigans. Look. Greed. Golem. Surge. Got uh, Gadric, the Crown Scourge. We got you in foil, Mr. Dragon. And boom. Solemn Simulacrum. It's a tongue twister, a little bit. Very cool. So excited you can get these in the normal standard boxes. Wow, fantastic. Uh, we are going to put you right up by the Mythics. Why not? Um, you are a special pull for sure. All right, we're winding down to the end of stack number two. Um... Very good hits. I am happy, very happy with this box. Fierce. Okay. Con containment Priest. Uh, very cool alternate art version for this card. Airbender avatar looking uh, card. At least that's, you know, the vibes I get from it. So very, very cool. Last pack of stack two. Yep. Uh... Overall, I think we've had a very good box so far. Obviously, you know, it's for looking to make any predictions on monetary value, you need to wait a little bit. Subira and a Swampy um, to see how things, you know, pan out. But, you know, just from the cards and their playability and uh, the mythic slots, uh, the, you know, borderless, very cool. Again, really cool that these borders are available in the standard box as well. They're not limited. See a foil there. Sanctum of All. Very, very cool. Again, legendary enchantment. And a fungus. Mr. Fungus in the foil pile. Alrighty. A pestilent haze. <laughs> Ugin, Ugin, the spirit dragon. Ah, uh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Whoa, Lily Standard Bearer. Uh, where are you from? From uh, Eldraine. I recognize you, I believe. Very cool. Very cool foiling on that. Um, wow. Ugin. Yeah, let's, let's, let's pay me some more attention to Ugin for a sec. Hello. Welcome back. Very cool. Wow. Um, I don't think I could have asked for better mythics. I don't know. That's fantastic. Fantastic mythics. Um, if we get a Grim Tutor as well... <laughs> Uh, not gonna be too greedy, but if we could do that, get a fifth mythic, uh, just uh, insane blood, blah, 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 blight fang. Why don't I say blood fang? Another foily, two foil rares, uh, very cool. Winding down with our last stack. Sky Scanner, a Thopter. Were you in? Were you in Kaladesh? I don't remember you. Crypts, Fetters, 
and Stormwing Entity. Baron's token. Um, yeah, I like the... If you go back to Ikoria, that you have the little punch-out token cards. I like that. Those, I don't know. I feel those come in handy. I much prefer them than getting that empty, you know, little advert for Arena. Wow, we, are we, we got, I think we got all the... I think we got all the shrines. Did we get all the shrines? That's the fifth one, I believe. And a temple. All right, I'm not too excited about you, Mr. Temple, but that's okay. I will not bash you. Yep. All right. Last few packs winding down here. Let's see. Still got a chance to pull something something cool in the close. Pack leader and uh, Swiftwater Cliffs foil and another Swampy. All right, looks like you can get you know fair amount of those um, alternate art basics from from box. Not too bad. Uh, again, I want you short sword in foil. <sighs> wow. Okay. Mangra. Mangra the diplomat. Sorry, Mangara the diplomat. Um, yeah. Mythic number five. Wow. I, is this. I don't know. I gotta watch some of these core. When. I can't remember the last five mythic standard box that I saw. That's. Crazy. That's that's pretty pretty crazy. I wonder if um, they're all gonna be kind of nice and pumped like this. Shaman transmogrify. Okay. And clarins. Last four packs. Um, wow. Five mythics in a standard box. Is, you know. Any more, we'll have to rebrand this a collector's opening. Peer into the abyss. We got, um, you know, yo, dude, I heard you like golem, so we put a golem in your golem, so you can have a golem in your golem golem. And a uh, fierce empath. Lots of foils, lots of mythics. Very cool. Last three packs. Um, dare I say it? Dare I, dare I tempt fate anymore? Uh, can we get... Another mythic, maybe foil, maybe in that foil slot. Ooh, another legendary enchantment. That would be insane. See the truth and eclipse. Last two packs coming to the close. Can we do it? Ah, we didn't get you. That's the last shrine I think we were missing. Chandra's Pyrling and Warden of the Woods and Lily Standard Bearer. We got you in foil and a forest. Very cool. Last pack. Can we... Can we do it? Do we still have a little bit of luck left? All right. Wingmare. Ghoul, Kotal, and Speaker of the Heavens. All right, that's it for the close. Quick summary, let's look. We've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful alternate art basic lands. Love it. Uh, we were able to hit that... Very, very nice full art borderless. Well, I guess this is, yeah, I think so. Um, fantastic. Love it that these are in the standard boxes. And five mythics. Five mythics in a standard box. Mangara. Ugin. Terror of the Peaks. Teferi. And our girl, Lily. Wow. All right. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. That was... I enjoyed myself. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you next time.